There now time is quickly running out for the General Assembly to beat the clock. Our James Pilcher has been monitoring the developments. He is live now at the State House to bring us up to speed on where things stand now. James, any progress? Yeah, I'm here outside the rotunda here at the State House, where there actually have been a lot of twists and turns when it comes to changing issue two and recreational marijuana laws. Voters approved the measure with 57 percent of the vote, making Ohio the 24th state to legalize recreational mar marijuana use last month. Lawmakers from both the House and the Senate say some changes are needed to that, but the two proposals differed wildly until today. The House version introduced by Republican Jamie Callender of Concord would keep most of Issue 2 intact, adding only a 10 percent excise tax on wholesalers while keeping provisions allowing plants to be grown at home in place, as well as how much people can carry at one time. The Senate's original version made drastic changes, including banning growing pot plants at home. But the Senate committee just approved a new version that would allow home grow, but limited to just six plants per household, as well as allowing sales to start for recreational users in three months through medical dispensaries. And it allows expungement of criminal records for those convicted of possession in the past, while lowering allowed THC levels. And that, that new bill is expected to pass the full Senate tonight. It does also include a 15 percent tax on sales. Governor Mike DeWine pushed lawmakers to reach a deal by midnight so Ohioans wouldn't be confused by any future changes. He just spoke to reporters about an hour ago about this new Senate bill and how he wants it passed as soon as possible to cut down on a possible growing black market. We have to move and that there is has to be a sense, a sense of urgency. So uh, I believe the Senate is going to pass this, maybe passing it shortly. Uh, I would urge the House to 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 pass this. But I, I got to say, the full passage passage by the House is not expected tonight, given that the House is in recess until tomorrow, and they're not on, even voting on new bills until next week. And uh, the local delegation uh, members I've been talking to said there have been no signs of being called back tonight. But given what happened today, you can never say never. To make those changes take place, however, it takes two-thirds of both chambers. Otherwise, any changes wouldn't happen for 90 days. Live from the Ohio State House in Columbus, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. You can always find our Local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.